In this demo, I'm going to show you how easy it is to access and manage MySQL HeatWave on AWS. To use MySQL HeatWave on AWS, you need to have an Oracle Cloud account. You can then use your Oracle Cloud account's credential to log on to cloud.mysql.com to manage your HeatWave on AWS resources. After you log into the console, you will see the Introduction tab. This gives you an overview of the MySQL HeatWave service. And there are multiple tabs on the bottom where you can navigate to manage your MySQL and HeatWave resources. I'm going to walk you through the tabs to show you some of the MySQL HeatWave capabilities. First, I'm going to show you one of the MySQL Autopilot features. MySQL Autopilot is a set of machine learning based automations and advisors that helps to improve the system performance, scalability, and usability. In here, I already created a MySQL instance and imported one terabyte of TPCH data. Now I want to add a HeatWave cluster so that I can take advantage of the query acceleration from HeatWave. It is not easy to figure out the optimal HeatWave cluster size. So I'm going to click on the Estimate Cluster Size button here. This invokes MySQL Autopilot's auto-provisioning feature, which samples the data stored in MySQL InnoDB and uses machine learning to predict the number of nodes needed for the data. As you see here, it shows you the list of schemas and tables you have in MySQL. You can select the schema or tables you want to use in HeatWave and it will show you the amount of memory and the number of nodes needed. As you add or remove tables and schemas, the memory and node requirements change. Here, I'm going to use TPCH later for running queries. So I will take the suggestions to provision a four node cluster. Once the cluster is created, I can go to the Workspaces tab to log on to the instance to manage the data in HeatWave and also run queries directly from the Workspace Query Editor. To run query in HeatWave, I first need to load the data from MySQL into HeatWave. This can be easily done by going to the Manage Data tab. Here, you will see the list of schema and tables in MySQL and their low status in HeatWave. As you can see, all nine tables of TPCH are already loaded to HeatWave. If I want to load more tables, all I need to do is to select the tables and schemas and click Load. This will give me a summary of the memory estimation of the data being loaded. Once the data is loaded, I can now go to the Query Editor tab to run some queries in HeatWave. You can get order of magnitude better performance running complex or OLAP queries in HeatWave compared to MySQL. Another benefit is that the system learns from your workload and automatically improves the system and query performance and scalability. One example is the auto query plan improvement. This is one of the MySQL Autopilot's features. In here, we collect statistics from query executions and use these statistics to improve query plan and query execution. In this example, I'm running a modified TPCH Q3, which has a similar construct as the TPCH Q18 as highlighted in red. In the first one of Q3, I get a runtime of 22 seconds. In another session, if I run Q18 first, because of the similar construct, we can use the statistics that we collect from Q18 to get a better query plan for Q3. Now, if I run Q3, you will see the query execution time becomes 12 seconds. This feature is great as there is no user intervention. It makes the HeatWave optimizer increasingly intelligent as more queries are executed, improving the system performance continuously. Next, I want to show you how to monitor the system from the console. On the Performance tab, you can see the cluster metrics, which includes metrics on the HeatWave cluster and the MySQL instance. Metrics such as memory, CPU, disk, and network usages. You can also see the queries that ran in HeatWave. You can drill down to see the query execution time and details. Besides running OLTP and OLAP in MySQL HeatWave, you can also use the HeatWave cluster to train machine learning models and run predictions using your MySQL data. 
on the Heatwave ML tab, you can log into Heatwave instance to run machine learning. Once you log on, you will see the model catalog, which shows all the trained models on the system. In this example, I'm going to use the bank marketing model to show you how you can predict results. This model predicts if a user will buy a product from a banker from a phone call promotion. On the model details, you can see the algorithm used and then the training score. To predict using this model, I click on the Evaluate button, which allows me to select a set of data to run the prediction on. After picking the data set, I can calculate the model score, do a model explanation which tells you which features are important for the model. As shown, duration and month are important. Then I click on Prediction tab to get the prediction result on the data set I selected. The data set already has the ground truth, so I can use it to compare to the prediction result. But I also want to see for users who did not end up buying the product, what we can do to convert that user. So I'm going to use the what if function. I picked the user who did not buy, but did spend a lot of time, which is the duration, on the call with the banker. In the what if page, I can change any of the feature or column value to see if the prediction would change. Since month is another important feature, I'm changing it from May to June. And the prediction has changed. If we call this user in June instead of May, most likely the user will buy the product. You can see that feature importance has changed when comparing to the baseline in the graph below. In this overview, I show you how easy it is to use MySQL Heatwave on AWS console to provision, manage, and monitor MySQL Heatwave resources. I show you various MySQL auto pilot features, which helps improve query performance, scalability, and usability. And I also show you how easy it is to use Heatwave Auto ML to create ML model and predict results. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please feel free to try out MySQL Heatwave on AWS on cloud.mysql.com.